Okay. So the goal of the workshop for today is to um, understand like our team's mission and redefine our mission actually, um, and the culture and the goals of Husky Robotics. And we also want to increase the quality of the goals that we're going to be setting today um, and make them more accurate for this upcoming season and not last year. Um, this is a familiar slide from last year or last week, um, but like goals are important. Again, uh, getting with the end in mind and ensuring everyone understands the common goal. If we all have the same like end goal, it makes getting there much easier. Um, and a lot of these things will look familiar from last week because we are applying what we learned. And uh, today we'll be doing four steps. First, we'll reflect on um, like past uh, documents, our values, mission, culture, um, all of that. And then we'll, re um, we'll get into redefining our mission. Uh, we don't actually have a true mission statement. Um, the one we have is from our chairman's essay. So we'll be working today to truly define what our mission statement is. And then the other big thing we'll be doing is uh, how we measure our goals and increasing the quality of that. Yeah, so we're gonna start off with a quick 15 minute breakout room. And so basically in your groups, we're going to go over the mission statement, the values, goals, and culture, which is the next four slides in the slide deck that would be, we'll share with you. And um, so in your group, I'd like you all to just reflect on all of them and discuss what are the common themes between them and what do they say about our team as a whole. And then uh, you can click on that word cloud link and submit kind of a one or two word theme or common thread um, that you see within all these stuff and then um, add to the word collage that we'll share after the breakout room. Um, sorry about that. Uh, so just showing the word cloud, not a word cloud, more like a word rank, I'm not really sure how to show the word cloud. But uh, does anyone who said a couple of these words want to share out on why they chose these words and what you guys talked about in your groups? Just raise your hand if you'd like to share out. Yeah. I see Samika has a hand raised. Um, our group talked a lot about like inclusivity um, because our team really values like communication and it was kind of um, laid out um, in all of the different ones about how we value like community and we want everybody to like feel like they belong and stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Anybody uh, else want to share? Should be one uh, group share from each uh, breakout room. Go ahead, Aaron. We also saw the inclusivity thing, but we also noticed a pretty common theme of, well, we share a lot of values with FIRST in general. Uh, there seems to be like a sort of underlying, take those values and build upon them, keep them ever changing and new and applicable to whatever situation arises. That's amazing. For growth. Awesome. Great points. Emma, would you like to share? Um, our group also talked about inclusivity and how you can work together in a community, but we also talked about like individuality and how like you yourself have worth and how you can affect the team and uh, how you can uh, help to better our team as a whole. Yeah, awesome. absolutely. Ayush? Yeah, our group talked about um, inclusivity and like especially being in such like a diverse community, making sure that we're being inclusive and in making sure that like everyone um, in our community is able to partake um, in Husky Robotics. And we saw like a theme throughout all the goals, um, visions and mission statements. Yeah, excellent point there. And then we'll have Laura share last. Um, yeah, our group talked about um, gracious professionalism and how that ties into our team culture of being compassionate, um, showing empathy, inclusivity, and all that. And then also that tying into um, the overall mission of like cultivating our passions, like how the mission talked about, along with um, overall team um, diversity. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys all for sharing. That was very insightful. Um, I think we can move on to our mission. Oops. 
my bad. All right, so the mission statement you guys essentially saw before was um, an excerpt from our chairman's presentation. Um, but now we're gonna be putting together ideas to create a mission statement for this season. So if you're unfamiliar with the mission statement, essentially it's uh, a purpose statement, like what's Husky Robotics' purpose? It can be uh, like just a quick sentence. It can be long, like the one you see for first. Um, all that matters is you have to get the point across about what your purpose is as an organization, as a team, what you want to be known for and what you want to achieve. So you can read like LinkedIn's example here to connect the world's professionals and make them more productive and successful. Um, very brief, very to the point, but they get across what they what their purpose is. Whereas like first is much longer because they have to encapsulate more into what they do. Um, so now if you can go to the next line. Um, what we're gonna have you guys do for 10 minutes in a breakout room um, essentially, we're going to be brainstorming ideas for what we want to see in our 2022-2023 mission statement. So this doesn't have to be like an actual written out mission statement, like the one you just saw, or like the one you saw a couple slides ago when you were talking in your breakout rooms, rather just um, bullet points about what you think might, like should be incorporated into our mission statement for this year. So um, yeah, and then we have a document here on the slide deck that you can click on based on your breakout number, um, you're going to record your ideas under that. Um, and that's going to be useful for later on in the workshop when we begin talking about our goals for this season. So we're going to split you guys up back in your breakout rooms for 10 minutes. Um, us captains might hop in to help you guys out if you guys need any help. But um, yeah, you guys are going to click on that document and just go ahead and brainstorm whatever comes to mind. All right, good to go. Yep. Here we go. Okay, so what do we want to improve from our mission statement? Um, we have four things that we want you to keep in mind while we're going through this. We wanna make sure we're keeping our goals smart and that we're specifically increasing our options to measure our achievements, which means that when we improve, we're gonna be improving our goals as well. And we wanna create a metric to measure completeness of a goal, which is something new that we will share. And we also want to grow our goals with our team. Now, SMART goals, I'm sure you're all familiar with them. They're more of a review right now about what we want from a goal, but it's still very important to keep in mind, specific, make sure you have details about that goal, measurable, make sure you're demonstrating um, how we can evaluate them and how we're making progress attainable, make sure that it's something that we can do, relevant, make sure that it aligns with our mission and our values and our culture, and then time-based, make sure that it has places where we can then mark our achievement to make it more time-based and help it be measurable. Um, specifically, we wanted to kind of hammer down on the measurable aspect. Um, so uh, this, again, another review slide, but, um, going to the gym more often is kind of open-ended can't really measure it but going to an hour or going uh four hours a week um is a much more measurable goal and so to improve on like how measurable our goals are the next um slide is something we're calling the percentage of achievement um and so the idea here is that we have like a metric that's like a percentage that can be used to definitively um, measure how well we are completing goals. Um, and it's also comparable between goals and between years. So we can look at how, like, if we're better at completing one goal versus another, because sometimes they aren't really comparable. Um, so you can kind of see, like, read through these examples. Um, if you did three or four hours a week, that's 75% complete. Um, they get more complicated with our more sometimes open-ended goals, but the benefits, like I said, are the comparableness. And you can also better visualize, like, if I'm only meeting 20% of my goal, maybe that's not a realistic goal. And if you're going way above, then maybe set some higher goals um, for yourself or for the team. Muted.
still, still st- muted, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was asking, like, is everything, did something happen? But it's because you guys couldn't hear me asking. Okay, so growing our goals as we grow as a team. Uh, this is something that we want to implement as we are able to achieve more. And it's more of something to keep in mind for the future. We don't really need to think too much about it tonight, but it is something important to keep in mind that if it's something that we're easily able to just do every single year without fail and that we've already really achieved it, we don't really need to make it a goal and we can reach for more than that. We can have our goals reach beyond because that's really what we want to do with our goals is reach further than what we've already done as a team. Raj, if you would like to introduce the breakout rooms. Yeah, so essentially now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be sending you guys back to your um, same breakout rooms. And we'd like you guys to take a look at all of the mission statements that were just developed there'll likely be a lot, a lot of like similarities. So other groups might have very similar things to what you said, but we want you to look at the mission statements. And now we're gonna have you guys kind of like brainstorm goals that could help us achieve that mission statement. So, and we want those to be like measurable. We want these to be um, like smart goals, like what Jack would just went over. And um, if you look at like the section one brainstorm potential goals, it'll take you to a Google form where you can enter all your ideas, which we'll use later on um, in tonight's workshop. So again, just to reiterate, we'd like you guys to go to those uh, rooms, look over the mission statements, and then develop your own smart goals. So yeah, and we'll be popping in and out to help you guys. Um, and I think we'll go one? for, I think we can start with like 15 minutes, and then if we need more time, we'll add it if we need. I think we I can may... do less. I may be the only one one or maybe it's the adults um, who cannot access the brainstorm uh, potential goals uh, because we are not approved to view it or whatever. Aiden, so there's a setting in Google Forms where you have to like unrestrict it from 203. Just, yeah. I will resend a link. I'll repaste it on the slide so we can continue with. So I believe right, sir, we are, are we doing 10 or 15? Where are we at? I think let's start with 10. I think 10 should be a good start. OK. Mm -hmm. So right. we're going to have a 10 minute brainstorming. Please make sure to fill out the form. For those who don't have a 203 email, we'll be getting a new form to you shortly. Aiden's going to repaste that. and. Have a good breakout. And I expect the link doesn't actually change. You just have changed the setting. So, all right, here we go. Okay, I hope everyone had a good breakout room. And I'm going to be pulling up the spreadsheet. Recorded. Um, so when we're looking at the spreadsheet, the goal here is just to, we'll say like five um, kind of common themes that we're going to expand upon um, for our goals. And we're going to set like smart goals with them. Um, so as Jack is sharing that, um, I'll, so there seems like a theme of like performance, like we want to be a performing team. Um, and like outreach, making sure like every member of our team is involved in the community um, and then being like an efficient uh, and productive team. So like we want like our, our final products to be high quality, but also using the time we have wisely. And then there's also uh, like a theme of like individual accomplishments and making sure like um, not only is our team successful, but individuals on the team are successful. Um, can I open this to anyone else? Any other like, uh, like a fifth like common theme that uh, could be expanded upon into a goal? Any ideas? Jack, can you also share the spreadsheet? So, Aiden, actually, as you rent through those, I 
as you were yeah. talking, I'm trying to group them in the mission statements breakout room document because it seems like that might be an easier way for people to see them. Um, I think I've got most of your categories. Okay, that's good. Um, not quite there yet. And I could not find the link to the spreadsheet and I'm having some trouble finding out where it is. Oh, Jack, I, I just yeah. I just send it to you in the captain's chat. But we don't we don't need that anymore, right? Yeah, we're we're fine. Uh it's on the mission statements are all like the responses grouped um as uh you guys can like look at all the responses there. But I think we might just have four groups, um, unless anyone has an idea for a fifth one. So your breakout rooms might get changed around a little, but that's fine. I'm not quite sure how to categorize that last one. In was it individual achievement? Maybe? Is that what you had? Yeah. Should keep up. All right. Uh, Are these the ones you talked about? Yeah. Um and on, if no one else has any like kind of like themes they would like to add on, then we can go with these two or these four. Um, otherwise, we'll each breakout room will get one of these. So it'll be like group one, two, three, four. Your breakout rooms will look a little different, but um, we'll be continuing the activity in the document. Um, as mentioned earlier with these, oh, sustainability. That's a great one. Okay, so we have five. So you'll be with the same people. Um, and yeah, if we sh can, Jack, can you share the original pres presentation now? And everyone should have access to this document. Yeah, I can share the screen at the end. Or, I, are you currently sharing too? All right. Um, but with these new, like kind of, they're not goals yet, but these new groups of goals, um, you're going to go into the 2022-2023 document. And um, you can kind of see we left last year's um, like answers there. So you can kind of see like what an answer would look like, but yours will look like very different because um, they're kind of different goals. Um, but breakout room one, goal one as defined, and we're just gonna focus on the important and relevant question for this first session. Um, and it'll just be a, a quick five minute breakout room uh, to answer those two questions and then we'll share as a whole team. For the breakout rooms, is it matching up with um, the goal development worksheet number goal or the mission statement goals or like categories that we just numbered? The Your breakout room. So if you're breakout room one, you're doing the new mission statement group of goals. Um, like the maximized productivity might not be what you call your goal. That's just from last year as an example. Cool. Does that answer your question? Yes. All right. Are we good to go? I think so. All right. Five minutes, mm -hmm. you said? Okay. Here we yeah. go. And if people would like to talk a little bit about what they have changed or what they have added about why it's important, we're going to go through group by group. So if group one wants to just touch a little bit about their part of the goal. Yeah. Okay. So we kind of agreed with like what was there before like we had outreach and we kind of agreed to what there was before like maintain and build relationships with the community but um we were like in the process of kind of changing like how like like the questions like like how and like how we do it and like kind of like why it's important like rewording that um to like kind of closely follow like what's like changed i guess but we really didn't get enough time to kind of go through that yet so would you guys want some more time on the next breakout? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And 
And then goal two, if you guys want to get ready as I'm scrolling to your. Goal two. Um, okay, so to be honest, I made a mistake and I kind of wrote my stuff on the goal one because that used to be maximizing productivity, but I will move it right now. Um, no worries. I'm just going to stay there. If you guys just want to talk about it, I'm sure you guys can move it after. There's no rush. Yes. Um, basically, we talked about like the idea of in the um, mission statement of kind of like promoting attendance because our team's large numbers can help maximize both like team productivity and individual growth and productivity um, and how that's beneficial to both the individual and the team. Um, so kind of adding that to the efficient productive goal. Nice job group two. And then while you guys are talking, would you guys also like more time for the next breakout? Or do you think it was good? Yeah. More time. Okay, group three. Um, yeah, so we kind of ran out of time to write stuff down while we were still in the breakout room, but we mostly talked about how um, uh, it's important because we want to be a competitive team and apply like the knowledge that we've learned over many years through our like through our sustainable practices um, to make a competitive robot and a competitive chairman's portfolio that can advance us to worlds. Nice job, group three. Okay, group four. Okay, yeah, we also probably could have used a little bit more time, but we kind of just said that individual achievement is important so that everyone is able to contribute to the team and like, feel like they're a part of the team because they're actively contributing and also they'll be able to learn different skills that they'll be able to carry out carry out or carry with them throughout their lives and in other like aspects of their lives besides robotics okay group five um, yeah, so we didn't finish either, but um, we basically just talked about how sustainability is super important so that like um, all team members can have an impact on the team as a whole as we continue to improve each year. And then we talked about the goal being relevant because um, again, with the whole passing down of knowledge, helping to meet that requirement by providing more opportunities to all different team members so that everyone can um, acquire the same amount of knowledge and make an impact on the team. Thank you guys for your responses. And uh, so now just to preserve time, we're gonna go back into our breakout rooms and you guys are gonna answer the next few questions with your groups. So you're gonna answer, um, is this goal specific? Um, is the goal attainable? Are your goals within your ability to achieve? Is the goal time-based? Is the goal measurable? And how will the goal be communicated? So we're gonna give you guys about 10 minutes for this breakout room and then we'll come back, share, and then we'll go back in one more time to finish up the last few questions. Okay, welcome back. I'm just gonna share my screen real quick. Um, so as you guys all file back in, Simi's about to share her screen and then uh, well, we just want you guys to, uh, we just want you guys to, we just want you guys to share <laughs> one interesting um, thing that you guys discussed from all your questions. Just like one thing, just give us an overview of what you talked about really quick, uh, like a 30 second synopsis. Um, so we'll start with group number one, um, which was the outreach group. So if you guys could give us just like a 30 second synopsis of what you guys talked about. Um, yeah, so I think a lot of like what we talked about was kind of similar to what was there before, like how we would kind of reach out to mem uh, members, um, making sure that they know about like the outreach limit, like the eight hour outreach minimum, um, kind of how we'd kind of implement it, like, you know, social media, talking to uh um, other people in our community, making sure we kind of keep those relationships. Um, and then Aiden kind of had this great idea about um, kind of how to measure the completeness of the goal, if you kind of want to like elaborate more on that. Yeah. Um, so um, in the doc where everyone gave their ideas, there's a bunch of like um, lower level goals um, 
like eight hours of outreach per member, um, increase our reach and stuff like that. So I kind of measured, I chose three of them to measure um, independently and then just like kind of average them to to measure how well we completed that goal overall. Um, so like for uh, eight outreach hours, if on average we have like seven or something, you can just, you know, compare that seven over eight is like 80, 87% completion, completion. And then you do that for the other three and you kind of can measure how well our outreach goal is doing. Thank you, group one. Um, now we're going to move to group two, just for the synopsis, the efficiency and productivity group. Um, okay, I can talk about it, but if anybody else wants to add on, they can go ahead. Um, so we kind of took the three sub points that were talked about in the mission statements. It was like um, a percentage of attendance at each meeting um, and then sprint planning meetings being timed more efficiently and then a robot, which is kind of a pretty overarching goal, but that's like how we maximize the robot's productivity. Um, so we kind of talked separately about each one. Some ideas for the sub team, like tracking is the sub team attendance sheet. So then calculating those percentages at the end of the week, and then having a certain minute count for the sprint planning meetings. Um, and then for the robot, like more modularly having check-ins on it and kind of use it, utilizing Trello, maybe more um, like individually to track progress. We're not exactly sure how, but like, seeing how many are in done, but also like calculating better weekly goals. I don't know. It was kind of all over the place, but yeah. Thank you, group two. Uh, group three, the performance group. Um, yeah, so we kind of talked a lot about how we want to utilize our team's sustainability um, to help us be more productive and be a high performing team. Um, during build season. And we also talked a lot about how um, a lot of these other goals that we're talking about kind of lead to the end goal of advancing to worlds and being a competitive and high performing team. Um, so obviously, like, uh, you know, the captains and coaches, like they would be the ones to like, help remind us of like this goal that we want to advance to worlds. But it's also like, all of these other goals that we're talking about, it's the responsibility of like the leads and stuff um, to kind of maximize our pro productivity with that as well. Um, and then we also talked a little bit about how, you know, we want our robot to be completed by week five and ready for drive team practice by then. And like, we want our chairman's portfolio to be done with like, I don't remember what we said, like maybe three weeks in advance to like practice and stuff like that. So just stuff like that to like, make sure that we're being as competitive as possible um, and as prepared as we need to be by the regionals. Thank you, group three. And then group four, which was the individual achievement group. So in this group, we kind of just like focused on how individual achievement shouldn't like be overshadowed by like, quote unquote, productivity. And we want to make sure that every person on the team is contributing. So we kind of just said that it'd be the maximizing and the prior prioritizing competency of each individual while like simultaneously increasing productivity and sustainability because there is a lot of overlap between individual achievement as and sustainability and productivity and we said this would be available like at every robotics opportunity like inside and outside of normal robotics meetings because everyone can grow from like outreach um, events and meetings and competitions as well but we also have to like make sure that we're holding each leader accountable and like make sure that they're aware of the opportunities that they're allowing all of their members to achieve and to grow. Thank you group four and then last group uh, number five sustainability. Yeah, so we talked about sustainability in two main factors in institutionalizing our team knowledge and then also in um, like getting sponsors to maintain our funding. And some of the things we talked about were like for our sponsors to measure it not only based on the new sponsors we're gaining, but also maintaining good relationships with our current sponsors, like how we 
invite them to our meetings and like show what their what basically like what their con contributions are being used for and then also just ways to like institutionalize knowledge a lot of hands-on training and like different activities and projects you can work on instead of just like talking at the new members in order to teach them and then also doing checkups to see like what level everyone is at with the skills that are we're teaching them thank you group five um that was thank you guys for the excellent share outs uh simi if you can go back to the slides for a second we just have one last thing to share before we conclude for the night um so if you can go to like the next slide, the uh, KFT slide. All right, so this is like the end of our leadership workshop series. Um, thank you to all our mentors and coaches who put this all together. Um, we'd love for you guys to click on that link to the Keep Fix Try and capture any feedback on the, this leadership workshop session um, in terms of what we should keep doing, consider fixing or consider trying next time. So um, you guys can click on that link on the last side of the slide deck. Um, and yeah, I think if the other captains have nothing else, I think that's the end of this leadership workshop. Thank you guys so much for coming today. Thank you everyone who participated. Thank you for Thank coming. You.